Senator Gold, last December, more than 40 individuals and groups signed a letter opposing a court application from the RCMP to dispose of 14,000 exhibits linked to Robert Picton, who has been linked to the murder or disappearance of more than 50 women, the majority who are Indigenous and whose cases remain unsolved. Many families still waiting for answers and justice want this evidence preserved. Has the federal government put an end to the disposal of evidence related to Picton, and will legislative reforms be introduced to improve the management of evidence involving missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and gender diverse people? Senator Gold. Well, thank you for your question. Uh, that more work needs to be done, uh, certainly, uh, with regard to missing uh, and murdered Indigenous women and children. Uh, uh, is, is clear. Is clear. I'm not aware of any uh, 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 prospective legislation to deal with this issue, but I'll certainly raise the issue with the minister on the first opportunity. Senator Francis. Thank you, Senator Gold. As we approach Red Day on May 5th, I hope that the families will receive a response to these questions. In the same letter, the families who also called on the RCMP to prioritize resources for the investigation of unsolved cases related to Picton to ensure all legal avenues are explored to bring justice to any additional perpetrators or unexamined aspects of the case. Could you please confirm if or how the agency has responded to this request? Senator Gold. I'm not in a position to respond to how the RC, RCMP may have, unfortunately. Uh, um, uh, I could say it's, that's a question properly addressed to the RCMP, which it, which it is. Um, but again, um, that's something that I, that, uh, that I, will, uh, I will add to my inquiries to the minister. 